What's up, my peoples? It's your man, Harkon Azala, a.k.a. the Enlightened Bad Boy Genius, at your service, as always. Coming to you with more BS-free 9PC tips, tricks, um, life hacks, principles, guidance on how to become uh, financially free and live the Enlightened Lux life. Listen, I wanted to share this with you really quick. You can see I'm in the middle of my, uh, it's normally my morning walk, but today I'm, I'm out here a little later than normal. Um, got involved in a really interesting uh, discussion on Facebook and uh, let the time get away from me. So that was my mistake. But anyway, um, here's what I want to share with you. Look, um, you need to beware. You need to really beware of your thoughts and your emotions and more importantly, your specific patterns of emotions or thoughts that you allow to repeat on a daily basis. One of the worst ones you can have is the victim mentality. Now, I'm not talking about the politicized version of this that a lot of people use uh, to essentially derogate and vilify others and say, well, you know, uh, you have the victim mindset because, um, you know, you feel something's always happening. You know, the reality it is uh, there are some situations where people are being victimized, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about whether or not you're victimized. What I'm talking about is internalizing the idea that you're always going to be victimized, that that is the way things are. It's just like that in this world. I don't care what color, race you claim or what political ideology or whatever. I'm telling you, you cannot allow yourself to adopt the pattern of thoughts. No matter, even like, like I said, even if you're getting victimized regularly, you can't adopt the pattern of thought that's, that accepts that it's something that's going to happen regularly. That is something that's just the way the world is, and there's a very good reason for that. It's because anybody that understands how the brain works, you know, whenever you experience a particular emotion or a, a particular pattern of thoughts or feelings, um, you have in your brain called neurons and, and they fire off and they um, and certain chemicals are activated which go down and they attach uh, and it, you know we don't have to get too deep in how it works but understand this neurons that tend to fire together tend to they, if they fire together quite a bit they tend to develop a kind of a bond and they get used to firing and suddenly um, you develop a habit of thought and so if you're regularly feeling like a victim, you will develop the, not just the, what's the right word? The propensity to feel that way, even if it's not accurate. Make sense? Now, why is that a problem? Well, it's a fucking problem because if you are always expecting to be victimized, then you are going, your brain is going to rearrange what's happening in the world outside of you to get yourself victimized, to see things as victimization even when they aren't there, and to create victimization. Yes, we can do this. It doesn't even, you don't even have to believe in the metaphysical uh, way that it can happen, though a lot of people do. It's something that your mind can create. Because remember, everything that happens the meaning it has is the meaning we give to it. You see what I'm saying? But we react to things based on the meaning that we give them. So if you decide that everything that happens to you is because you are a victim and it's because people are trying to victimize you and there's nothing you can do about it, then you're going to, your neurons are going to fire that way uh, all the time. They're, and the more it happens, the more ingrained the pattern, the habit of thinking begins. And let me assure you this. I don't care how smart you are, how much money you have, anything else. I care who you know, your connections. If you develop a pattern of believing that you are a victim, of believing that things happen to you and there's nothing you can do about them, that bad things happen, there's nothing you can do about them, there's forces out there that are just too strong, then you, my friend, will never be wealthy, you'll never be healthy, you'll never be happy feel me so living the enlightened lux life is completely out of the possible realm of possibilities for you all right i'm just going to share that with you i will see you in the next video i want you to take action on this today all right and use it to propel you at least one step towards your goal of living your dream lifestyle make sure you link up with me on all my social media links below make sure you go and you check my free 
uh, bullshit free wealth crash course. Just click the link below and it's yours for free, no cost. And as always, my friend, live luxe or die, baby. Peace.